Welcome back to Techno Babylon. The Mindjacker has taken control of this blimp air jet thing, whatever it's called. So we need to take control back. I think to do that we need to get through this hatch, which is locked. The hatch has been locked from the other side. Mm -hmm. But we do have a terminal here, and of course I am playing as Lau. And she knows how to hack. After all, she turned a maid into a security guard, basically. Galatea V, the turret. You misunderstand. The aerostat uses non-flammable lifting gas, not inflammable. These two are opposites. The turret, or any other gunfire, will not cause an explosion of the gas. This is elementary school chemistry English. Please don't give me further reasons to doubt your competence. <laughs> Non-flammable, not inflammable. From Cobalt Actual. Funeral arrangements. Dear colleagues, cremation and inhumation for Ethan Drummer, formerly Cobalt 6, killed in action, will take place at the conclusion of the operation. Until then, please limit disruption to duty and acts of remembrance. From Team Slash Cobalt C3 something something. Yeah, the aerostat's a floating pile of garbage, but it's safer than the last job. If Doc wants you to fix something, you fix it. Control for the flaps has been wired through the four junction points in the lower hallway. <laughs> so I can take control of the flaps using the four junction points. Huh. From centralized revenue tax payment. Dear Mr. Keech, following surveillance of your net activity and public behavior, it appears that you are working as a paramilitary contractor, without having declared the source of income to the Centralized Revenue and Customs Department. Please complete attached form, blah blah blah, or you may be subject to further investigation. Someone pissed off the IRS. The Neo-IRS. Centralized Revenue. Okay, how do I get to these junction points? Because I don't have the glasses anymore. Where did they go? Do I actually need the glasses? I think I need the glasses to see the junction points. But I looked in the sick bay for them and they weren't there. Maybe I can ask Regis for them? Hey, Regis. Yes, Dr. Lau? You feeling any better? A little. How did you know to come to my rescue? I broke their comms channels, figured I owed it to them, cracked the bug they put in my system, and rode the signals back to theirs. I'll never be able to figure out how you do these things, Max. Which guarantees my job security. Can I get an update? We need to get after the people running this aerostat. And this conspiracy. I'll see what I can do for this girl. So, Nita Jong led us to these people. She's helping us find whoever set you up for Baxter's murder, right? There's that. And... Max, I haven't been completely honest with you. There's a surprise. Dr. Cryptic has been withholding info. Ah, uh, cram it, Lau. These people, they took something from me. Embryos fertilized by myself and by Vicky, my wife. These people stole your embryos? Your kids? They needed me to get their memory module for them from Vanderwall, and they knew exactly what my price would be. Wait, they tried to get you to help them? They forced me, Max. There was no way I could say no. Those embryos, they were all I had left of her. And because of those people, of all this... I hate to say it, Regis, but you're in serious trouble. They broke you with this. They nearly compromised this case because of it. You should have told me. I'd have done what I could. Nobody could have helped me, Max. I was obsessed. I panicked. I felt like I was doing it for her, for my wife. Regis, I hate to say this so bluntly. Your wife is dead. You have an obsession with these artifacts of her. The garden, the embryos. Max. You need to focus, Regis. People need our help right now. We've been led straight to our lead suspect. Can I count on you to do the right thing? The embryos are gone. He destroyed them. There's nothing else they've got to twist me. Okay, good. 
Nina's led us right to the Mindjacker? He was the blonde one Chantel took down. I heard him gloat about what he'd done. He stores the target's information within his own wiring until he can offload it. Looks like he's got quite an operation behind him. I guess it's not surprising he's been robbing synapses all over the world. Gotta be for something more than corporate espionage at this rate. So, the Mindjacker tried to blackmail you because you're on this case? It's more than that. It sounded personal. Maybe you've crossed paths before? No, not with him. But the way he talked, it was like he was out for revenge. And not just that, it's as if he were Baxter looking for revenge. That's impossible. Baxter's dead for one thing. Maybe he's his son? No, he's a mind jacker. When he drained Baxter, he didn't just get information. He got his motivation as well, and it stuck. Sounds like he got a lot more than he bargained for. So Baxter's consciousness kind of infected the Mindjacker like a virus, I guess, somehow. So, we've caught up with our Mindjacker. We know that he's apparently ripped dozens of prominent individuals in a number of fields. Including Baxter, some of whom is apparently stuck. Question is, what's all this setup? What do they plan on doing with the data they've stolen? Straight neural data is hard to process. That is, unless you've got an AI to read it. Whatever it is. It must involve this girl. Unless you've got an AI to read it. Such as... Central? It must be Central, right? They're gonna feed the information into Central. Central's gonna be pretty pissed about this. More than usual, I mean. Is it working again? Yeah, we fought off the intrusion. Damn. I was hoping they'd broken it permanently. Nah, we could handle it. It was a weird attack, though. Like, they knew exactly what they were doing. Well-trained hackers. Foreign intelligence? No. Better than that. Like, they were intimately familiar with Central. Then, as sudden as it had started, the attack halted about 18 hours later. Who was escaping through the ceiling hatch? It wasn't the Mindjacker, was it? No. He's the one Chantel caught. Briefly. By the sound of it, the Mindjacker is working for her. His work is part of a larger plan of hers, then? Possibly. She's the one running this lab, for sure. Chantal's really pulling her weight in this job. It's a shame it couldn't hold down Kressel, the Mindjacker. Hey, cut her some slack. She took down two heavies on the tarmac. I'm not going to make any promises about taking her on full time. Pfft, you're just worried about Synthetic stealing your job. You may as well take this now. You seem to be the Maid Wrangler. <laughs> maid Wrangler. Is this just a repeat of what we just talked about? Chantal's really- I'm mm -hmm. not- That's a- for Never underestimate having- Why else do you think I keep you around? Ouch. Walked right into that one, didn't I? Oh, that's weird. The beginning of the conversation seemed the same, but after the beginning, it looked like it was different. So, this Kressel guy, the Mindjacker, he killed Baxter? And by the sound of it, ripped the contents of his mind first. Hmm. When I saw Baxter's head, I thought that either his killer really hated him. Like I would. Or he was covering up evidence of a mind jacking by destroying his brain tissue. It's a theory. Sounds like we might be able to back it up. Any idea who the thrall in Skanto Blue is? Not a clue. She must be important to their plan. Maybe she just wandered into their airfield. A useful test subject for whatever this is. She was at Cell earlier. She'd been targeted. They must be after her for some reason. I'll do what I can to keep her stable. Do your best, Regis. Hmm. What? She looks familiar. I can't quite place her, though. I guess I see too many thralls. Dr. Baxter says hi. He seems a lot friendlier than I expected. What? Oh, don't panic. It appears he remembers his own ripping. And death. Looks like we can be sure he was the Mindjacker's latest victim. A significant part of his mind state's been offloaded into this system. But why did you see him? Why is he in there? They've been ripping minds and reprogramming the data through a memory module. I guess Baxter's the latest and still has the most independent agency. Doesn't sound like he harbors any ill will towards you, though. Maybe the neural governor? He wouldn't be able to get angry. Well, he's dead. There's no governor. I think that this ghost of his in the machine doesn't include that part of him. You mean, this mind jacker's kept it? Or just can't get rid of it. Any idea how many heavies they've got left? At least two more, but I don't know for sure. Me neither. They've got some pretty slick encryption on their comm traffic. Are you saying that even you can't breach it? Not remotely. 
But maybe if I could find something connected to their comm network. Find anything useful yet? Just a length of cable. Why would I need a steel cable? You're the tech, you figure it out. I also picked these up while I was finding my way in. Now that's more like it. Ah, there we go. The goggles. So, what do we do from here? Now we know this is where the Mindjacker's operating from. We need to find out what their plans for all those stolen memories are. We'd better find out where this aerostat's going, too. The best way of covering all those would be apprehending these people. I'll check in later. Alright, now we've got some tools to work with. Let's take a look at these junction points and open them up. That's one of the power junctions pulled. That's another done. How many of these things are there? General alarm. Starboard control services compromised. Okay, I'm not in entirely sure what that actually accomplished. Two meters of industrial alloy cable, strong enough to lift a small house, yet still extremely flexible. Hmm. I think we might use this cable to go out of the cargo hold, because I can open up the bottom of the cargo hold. Hmm. I mean, the hatch is still going to be locked, of course, right? I haven't done anything to change that. Yep. Nothing I can do with the terminal. Nope. What about wet wear on these junctions? No, I can't even highlight the junctions. So I've already done what I needed to do with them. So yeah, I think we need to go out the cargo hold. Open crate. I wonder what this was for. Armor-piercing ammunition. Hmm. A box of 16 millimeter depleted uranium armor-piercing ammunition arranged on belts. They'd make a pretty serious mess out of anything. If Regis would let me carry anything big enough to fire them, that is. Now, I've also got the personality splitter, right? Yeah. Everything that was her is now in my pockets. Okay, what do I do with it, though? I mean, she's out of battery power, and I can't charge her, right? I don't think so. Stainless steel uh, mono monomolecular surgeon scalpel. It looks very expensive and brand new. Good, plenty sharp, then. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, though. Hmm. Well, let's just try opening the cargo hold. Oops. <laughs> I just got an achievement called Bombs Away. Uh, I can't use the cable on the hole. Apparently not. Nope. Can't attach it to anything. Nope. Thermo this hatch would just lead outside, right? The intake for the aerostat's turbofan engine. You can feel the powerful air currents it's creating from where you stand. A thick pipe runs along the hole of the aerostat within arm's reach. I better save it just in case I end up falling or getting sucked into the engine or something. Uh, can I use it on that? Yes. That should be safer. If I lean out any further, the engine will pull me in. Uh, so what do I do now? How's that going to help me hold on? I don't know. Whoa! What the? What the hell was that? That's not the... She just like moved a quarter of an inch and then just like fell flat on her face for a couple frames. If I lean out any... <laughs> it looks so silly. I guess 
If I lean out any further, if I lean out. Okay, so she's actually connected to that thing that's on the pipe, to the cable. I didn't realize it was actually connected to her. It just looked like it was going behind her head. That <laughs> looks so funny. Oh. Okay. Uh. Does that mean I need to destroy the engine by throwing the ammunition inside of it? It seems kind of dangerous. Aren't we gonna fall out of the sky? How many engines does this thing have? I guess at least one more, but even if it only had one more, I, I think it would fall. Hmm, I think they're gonna see me. If I just walk, Whoa. right? Yep. That guard by the window almost saw me. I've got to get rid of him. Hmm. I know. Throw ammunition at his face. Whoa. Through the sealed window. That guard by the gut. If there's one place you don't want a thermal visor messing up your depth perception, it's hanging out of an airship a thousand meters up in the air. Fair enough. Whoa. That guard by the gut. How do I get rid of you? Well, taking him down would mean one less obstacle. The stunner doesn't have the reach necessary to hit him from here. He doesn't need surgery. Dang. Whoa! I've got. I don't actually know what to do. Oh, what? Where did I just put the wetware? I've their system. Now it thinks my traveler's part of their network. Uh, apparently their wireless security was lax enough to allow you to breach the network without a physical contact for your wetware. Cool. How, how was I supposed to know to do that? Thank God I did. Okay. What does that allow me to do? Tell them you're needed somewhere else to distract them? Cobalt 3, this is actual. Do you, uh... Copy, over. Cobalt 3, standing by. Uh, Cobalt 3, what is your status? Cobalt 1 and 2 secure. Pass that time with the target. Uh, copy that. Intruder sighted to port. Cobalt 3, hostile sighted to port side. Copy that. Moving into position. Identity. Voice print required. Cobalt 1 8 Sigma. Voice print confirmed. Please exit targeting zone. Alright, can I zap you? Nope. Can I scalpel you? Nope. Can I ignore you? Target acquired. Target lost. That was close. Ah, right, the turret. Um, hmm. The visor appears to be out of charge. Ah, damn. Hmm. Wetware's not going to... Verify identity. I... Password incorrect. <laughs> well... consider trying to persuade him of the futility of his position, but decide against it. They're probably paying him too much for him to change his mind. Oh, there's a gas tap. A gas release valve on the side of the enormous steel cylinder. This is likely to be where the hoses are connected for lifting gas to be pumped elsewhere. Verify it. I... Password. Okay, so I need to deal with the turret before I can do anything. Right? That's not the... Not something... No, don't... I... Target acquired. Target lost. That was close. A ragged patch on the side of one of the gas bags. These stitches are probably a temporary measure until a more durable repair can be made. 
but given the age of this bucket, you're unsure how likely that is to happen. That's what I need to cut with a scalpel. And then... And then what? Walk forwards and get shot? Verify it. Hi. Password incorrect. <laughs> so, this whole room is just filled up with helium. So my voice just sounds all high-pitched? Hi. Uh... Password <laughs> How does that help anything? What? I'm not going... Hey, what happened? Oh, right, helium. Does that change my voice enough to match the voice recognition? It doesn't seem to. Verify. I, uh... Password incorrect. Hmm. I... Password. I don't get it. I'm not going... Hey, what happened? Oh, right, helium. I'm not go- oh. Well, I can't go back, so that means I must have everything I need to complete this right here, right now. Cobalt 3, this is actual. Do you, uh, copy? Over. Cobalt 3, standing by. Should I have him try to go back? Cobalt 3, hostile sighted to starboard side. Copy that. Already in position for intercept. Cobalt 3, do you... Cobalt 3. Cobalt 3, hostile sighted to port side. Copy that. Moving into position. Verify identity. Voice print required. Cobalt 1, hey, hey, what happened? Voice print not identified. No, wait, it's Cobalt 1, eight Sigma. Voice print not identified. Terminating security threat. Wait, stop. Warning. Ammunition depleted. They only loaded that thing up with, like, what, 10 shots? What the hell? Well, I guess they didn't foresee more than one threat. Tart Warning. Ammunition depleted. Entering power save mode. Oh, did you really have to kick the body? Got what was coming to him. Uh, I guess. I hope the helium lasts long enough so that her voice is like that for the entire rest of the game. Because that would be hilarious. Locked. Wetware's not going to... Blast resistant steel. I'm gonna need something stronger to get through. Blast resistant... Hmm. Well, the turret doesn't have any ammunition. I'm still wondering what I'm supposed to do with the splitter. I've got Chantel's personality and all that, but what do I put it in? Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, just missing one thing. I can't inject that. Hey, Regis. Yes, Doc. So... Now we know this is where the Mindjacker... We need to find out what they're... We'd better find out... The best way of cover... Good plan... How? There's gotta... I'll check in... I'm gonna take a look around, and I'll be right back. Oh my god, I just got the best idea. Can I put Chantel's personality into the turret? Oh my god, I can. <gasps> oh. This is gonna be so good. The 
personality. Of what, uh, what part do I need you to have? The memory? The memory can stay. Uh, I'll switch it over for the fun of it. Let's turn you into the barman so you serve me. And I'm not giving you the personality of Sheffy. No. No way. Hello? User IFF. No. Considered hostile. All right. Don't. Error. Uh, I guess I do have to put Sheffy inside of it. What about now? Hello? Hi there. Oh. Okay, so now the turret's on my side, which means I think I now need to load it up with the ammunition that I have and have it blast open the door. How do you feel? I'm just dandy, thanks. Except I'm all out of ammo. Sorry about that. I'll see what I can do. What's your primary mission? You asked me to come help on your case, Dr. Max. Don't go anywhere. Okie dokie. <laughs> Here you go. Um, um, um. <laughs> Hello? Hi there. Blast that door. Well? Um, I'm real sorry, Dr. Max. I just don't know how to drive this thing. What? I could make you a martini, though. Would that help? Oh, I gotta get rid of the barman part. Okay, the role of a turret, personality, and memory of the maid and Sheffy. Hello? Hi there. Blast that door. Stop! Stop! Just stop shooting at us! You'll blow the whole damned aerostat up! I'm about to come in. Place your hands above your heads and remain where you are. Regis, I've got the suspects holed up. What's your status? Good job, Lau. I've been doing some digging in here. Apparently, their intended destination is Fulcrum Tower. The tower? In an aerostat? Why? Let me send you the files. Freeze! Yeah, I'm not one of the bad guys. Hi there. Are you alright? Get nuked! You're the one who tried to kill me in the first place! I don't know what you're talking about. I saw the data feed from 14E. You were there. You planted the bomb! What?! And you keep showing up. At cell? Here? You're following me! I need to get out of here! Get out of my way! I'll shoot! No. You won't. It's empty. Out of charge. Otherwise, I'd have had a heck of an easier time getting in here. I don't believe you. You're bluffing! You're not going to shoot me. That's how I... Regis? You still there? Uh-oh. You still in there? Yes! Just... Don't shoot, please. You still in? Yes. Should I? Oh, down the hatch, right. Go check on Regis. Anyone comes through that door, Chantel, you make them regret that decision. Got it. Regis! You just shot a cell agent trying to help you! He tried to kill me! Hang on, Regis. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the girl who was with Dr. Vargas. Galatea, right? Gala what? You alright? I'll be fine. Apparently it wasn't as empty as I thought. The counter must have had a charging plate. More to the point, how did she shoot you with your own signature weapon? I'm... not sure. Hold still. Just need to scan you. Um, Regis, why does this girl have half of your genome? What? This girl, who yesterday was introduced as Dr. Vargas's daughter. I don't know what you're talking about. Vargas doesn't have a daughter. Oh my god. My god, he couldn't have. What? What is it? That son of a bitch. I... I know who you are, and I'm so sorry. One of the embryos. You can't withdraw the embryo now! We're finished without it! What part of no wasn't clear, Baxter? We've decided not to use our embryos in the project. We'll find another way to do it. You don't know what's at stake! Our reputations, our whole careers could be made or broken by this! Dr. Baxter, we've made our decision. He's poisoned you against us! Don't let his antiquated morals stand in the way of what we can achieve here! 
Thanks to Charlie, I've seen things from a more holistic perspective. There's more to life than the project. Bah! Thanks, Vicky. Thank you, Charlie. We're starting our lives together, and that's what's most important to me. Do you know what will happen when this project fails? There's nowhere left to go for me after this. My career is in ruins. I've no future without this project. Do you see, Dr. Regis? You have ended me! You have ended me! Vicky. My god. So that means that this girl is... They must have continued their research after I left the project. Duplicated the embryo to use as a baseline. Wait. That means I'm your... Oh, Nuke. I think I'm gonna be sick. Max. This is my daughter. What was that? The engines have cut out, or we've arrived. Uh-oh. Damn, they got past. Looks like we're not just stopped, we're docked. Uh-oh, I recognize that office. Nothing remains in the control room except for the slaughtered bodies of several hired guns. Galatea, my dear, don't do this! It's too late to stop me now, father. Damn it. She sealed the elevators. I'll try a breach. Charlie, we must stop them. I fear her plans risk endangering the entire city. Cram it, you son of a bitch. You cloned my embryos after Vicky was gone. Then you continued the experiments after I was out of the picture. Dr. Regis, I can only imagine how you must feel. What did I just say? You don't get to talk. Max, what do we know about this, about Galatea's plan? Well, she has a dense storage module full of stolen mind states. And apparently she's now taken Central's processor core by force. She's going to change Central's fundamental nature. How? It plans outcomes based on input from millions of trance users in the city. Exactly. She's going to give it a more fixed frame of reference. I fear that you are correct, Doctors. As it stands, Central serves not merely to coordinate city operations. It doesn't? No, Dr. Lau. In fact, this may represent one of mankind's greatest achievements. I have been using its position, one of absolute trust and resources, to teach it. Teach it? About what? About life. The world, the human condition, what it means to share the world with us. I and the city have given it a position on high, from which it can observe everything. At the cost of its duties to the city? I believe not, Dr. Regis. However, Galatea shared your concern. She believes it important that Central's intellect be suitably equipped sooner rather than later. Oh, God. Regis, what do we have to do to the maid when we wanted it to behave in a different way? We gave it a new... personality. She's taken the mind states of experts across a number of fields. She wants to combine them into a, a gestalt all-knowing personality for Central. Galatea wishes to skip over the years of education it may otherwise have taken, and create an all-knowing leader for the city overnight. With a combined experience of about eight centuries from the mindjacking victims. Please, you must stop her. She'll have to upload the Gasol personality from the Cortex matrices at the top of the tower. We'll stop her, but I'm not doing this for you, Central, or the city. It's for the people whose lives have been the cost of your glorious work. For Vicky, for our kids. Come on, Lyle. Nina, I did not know you were still here. Nobody else is doing any work. It looks like it's up to me to salvage this project. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate your attitude. 
but we have lost half of our team in one fell swoop. Poor Viksha. I cannot say that I blame Charlie for removing the embryos from the project after that. Mm-hmm. Embryos. I know that look, Nina. There is something that you are hiding. Maybe. My god, this data. You... Here's the thing about embryos. While they're at the six to eight cell stage, they're very easy to split. It's been the basis of cloning for a century. It's how twins are made. You duplicated Fiksha and Charlie's embryo. Mm-hmm. He's happy he's got his embryo back. I'm happy that I've got another three full embryos to continue the project. I'm not sure what to say. Say thanks to me, and say nothing to Charlie. When Central is born, he'll assume we found another solution. This can just be our little secret. Alright, need to make it to the top and stop her from changing the personality. Coiled up portable antenna, waiting to be deployed. <laughs> We're getting a signal. The antenna's broadcasting. Now use the controls in the turbine room to give us access to the tower's security. I just... <laughs> it's just really funny that I just touch this thing and then like a balloon just goes... It just goes up there. I don't know why I find that, found that so funny. So why is this thing even here? Why is this thing even down here? Most of this man's body has been crushed by the elevator platform. You're not sure whether he fell first, but the eventual result has rendered that point moot. All you can examine are the man's boots. The rest of his body remains pressed under the platform. The body of one of the remaining strike team members. Apparently cell officers managed to bring him down. Grenade. Oh crap, I didn't mean to skip that. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Ah, oh, it was probably important. A hand grenade carried by the strike team. It's got a variable fuse. Okay, so I can put the timer on whatever I want. Wait, voice? Oh, can I switch between characters too? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Well, this could get complicated. I've got three characters worth of items and interactions. We're getting a signal. The antenna's broadcasting. Now use the controls in the turbine room to give us access to the tower's security. Okay, well, what if I examine the body now that the elevator's not on it? Ah, there's a wrench. Apparently this man was a technician. You take his wrench. Oh my god. Wow, talk about organic computing. It's like I'm inside of a brain or something. The organic component of Central's mind. I wonder if Regis has realized that this matter probably shares a lot of DNA with him. I have no idea where to begin. Biologicals are Regis's thing. Bigger than the tools I usually use. I'd probably break something if I tried to use it. I'd want to run a diagnostic before trying that. I'd want to... I'm hesitant to guess, since I've only heard of them academically, but this looks like a neural interfacing terminal. The kind used before everyone was wired, anyway. Alright, well, I don't think I need to do anything here yet, right? Power conduit runs up the wall, further up into the tower. Judging by the glow, it's working as expected. Yeah, I don't think we need to be in here yet. Oh. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, 
a system of moving platforms, apparently for shifting drones into the different levels of conduits running through the building. He's gonna shoot me as soon as I stand out, right? But I do have a grenade. Oh, come on, you don't need to go around the corner to throw the grenade, right? I don't want to risk damaging it. Hmm, true. Only the Mindjacker unfortunately fell into the turbines. They look rather dangerous. An array of hazardous looking machinery that makes up part of Central's power systems. The way out. The power junction for this area. It's probably got backups, but even a momentary disruption might help you get the drop on the Mindjacker. Hmm. Okay, how would I disrupt it? I just saw a power conduit down at the bottom. But how do I interrupt it? Because, yeah, if I could make the lights go out for a second, then I could perhaps sneak up on the Mindjacker. Systems for controlling the allocation of power and security guarded by the Mindjacker until Galatea can finish her mission. We're getting a signal now. You so let's see if we can mess with the power down here. Conduit Alpha, temporary shutdown. Reactivation in 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, wait. That didn't do anything? So that powers something completely different then. It's already in its offline cycle. All you can do now is try to deactivate its counterpart before it restarts. Oh, it's got another one? Where's the other one? Well, wherever the other one is, it obviously must be accessed. Power system cycled. Reinitializing conduit alpha. Obviously must be accessed by her here, so let's get her into position. It's gotta be somewhere up above. Ugh, that squishing sound when the elevator comes down on the body again. Ugh. Let's keep going up. Hardware is not my field. I'm going to need the trance if I want to get into the machine. There's nowhere to make a connection out here. Hmm. Access denied. Security measures active. So, where's the other power conduit? Oh, wait. It's as the elevator's going up. Can I actually do it? Like, right now? You're unable to reach the power conduit at this distance. You make a graph of the power conduit, but the lift's movement carries you past its access point before you can disable it. Hmm. So I need to either stop the lift, like midway through, or like slow it down. How do I do that? Can I hack it? The wetware won't form. The wetware. The wetware. The wetware. Maybe. Okay, I've got an idea. Maybe the wrench can be used to jam it shut or something? By sticking it into the big gear? So let's use Lao for that. Oh, what is this stuff?
There we go. Not the right place to stop, though. Power conduit beta reactor. Bingo. Power call. Oh, wait, that's not for this. Kressel! Hey, Regis, you haven't given up, have you? That still didn't turn out the power. Hmm, not even a momentary disruption. Something blinked at, like, at the top. Alright, well, it's about to come back on in a second. Let's give it a second, and then turn it off again. And then once we turn it off again, I'll continue going up with Lau and see if we can do something with Central when that happens. Huh. That's weird. Seems like the power's not coming back up. I might risk harming Central. Oh, so now the lock power is out. So I can just open the door? No. I think I maybe just solved a puzzle that I wasn't supposed to solve yet. I don't think that's what I'm actually supposed to do yet. Doesn't seem like it. Let's just try talking to him. 